Welcome back everybody. So my next movie review for you is Die Hard 2. So Die Hard 2 was released on the 2nd of July 1990 and this movie is actually set around Christmas time and it was released in the summer. Does it make it a Christmas movie? Yes it does. You can argue with me with that as much as you like but the fact is that, that movie is set at Christmas. It gets shown at Christmas quite a lot. It makes it a Christmas movie. Conversation over. So this movie was directed by Rennie Harlan. Or Harlan, I should say. It was made on a budget of $70 million and made uh, $240 million in the box office. The cast in this second installment, again, consists of Bruce Willis as John McClane. We've also got John Amos, William Sadler, William Atherton, the T-1000, Robert Patrick, plus many, many others. So in this second installment in the Die Hard franchise, we get to see a team of terrorists threaten to basically destroy an airport and demand the release of, the, of a drug lord called Roman Espinanza. And once again, John McClane is in the wrong place at the wrong time and he has to go and try and stop these terrorists. Now, what do I honestly think about this second installment in the Die Hard franchise? Yes, I enjoy it, but it is nowhere near as good as the first one. But it is still a damn good sequel. Um, I have to be honest with you. The first three Die Hard movies are my favourite. The other ones, yeah, not so good. But this second installment, again, it's just, okay, fair enough. It's not set in a tower block, it's set in an airport. It's a slightly different setting, which you kind of expect anyway. You need something different because they already done like the tower block in the first one. But it still does work. It doesn't quite have the same feel as the first one. I have to be honest with you. Um, it's different in so many different ways but as a whole as a general as a good action movie from the 90s yeah it's got a thumbs up for me this isn't so much a review it's just an appreciation on this one because it, essentially this is just a classic action movie for me which i can quite happily sit down there and watch you get everything that you want again in a die hard movie you get to see john McLean, you, you get to see the build-up you get to see him fight some terrorists you get to see him pretty much beat the shit again and he has to and he does everything he possibly can to stop these terrorists and the terrorists again overpower this cop but yet john mccrane still manages to do it and it just makes it so damn good and tell you that i don't care it's just an appreciation it's not so much a review i'm sure there's faults in this movie but i really really don't care in any way shape or form like i said it isn't as good as the first one, but it's still enjoyable to watch. I can quite happily sit down and watch this movie over and over again without a shadow of a doubt. Again, some of the action sequences in this movie I actually really, really enjoy. It's not quite got the action sequences as we saw in the first one, and I know I'm comparing it to the first one, but chances are the reason why this made $240 million is because it was on the back burner of that first movie and they were people were probably kind of expecting exactly the same and you don't quite get the same as what we did in the first one um, it's not quite as action packed until probably the last three quarters of the three quarters of an hour of the movie there are certain bits in this movie I have to be honest with you at the start of this movie going throughout but with the suspense kind of wise say that we got from the first one yes it's there but it's not as strong as what it was and i generally like uh fight sequences in this as well especially like the hand hand combat i like the little twists and turns that go on in this movie as well which is a nice little added addition kind of like what we got in the first one but you know it they become a bit of a trend in trade especially in the next one all that kind of stuff performances I don't expect a lot. I never expected a lot uh, in the performances. I don't expect to see class acting in this because, it's, again, it's just a damn good action movie. And I will sing this movie's praises forever. It's as simple as that. And hence the reason why it's not a review. It's more of an appreciation because I'm sure there are plenty of faults in that movie. There really, really is. I can think of a few off the top of my head right now but i don't care it's as simple as that so if i did what i was so I, I just love the whole movie you know it's a simple it's simple i love the whole movie there are faults in this it is a little bit unrealistic in certain places don't care really don't really enjoy it john McLean, wrong place wrong time gets his ass kicked gets beaten up whatever saves the day at the end and he saves his wife 
it's all good. If I was to rate this movie, it's simple. 10 out of 10. It's simple as that. If not more, thousand out of 10. All diehards, apart from, well, first three diehards. Million out of 10. How about that? Can't be done. Screw it. <laughs> At the end of the day, this is all it is to me. It's just a damn good action movie. And if there is anybody on this channel, on this movie review channel, and this movie review is also going up on the reaction channel, who haven't seen this movie, get there, watch their movie, come back, tell me what you think, put it in the comments down below. I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. It's just a good bit of 90s action. I love it. So, on that note, I've already said that. Hope everybody has the. <laughs> God, I messed myself up. I hope everybody has a great rest of the day, whatever they're doing. Please take care and goodbye.